Hello, Hello, beautiful Washington, greatest of cities. Hello. Hey, Yaksumash. Uh, my name is Barat Sagdiev. Hello. Hello, it is it is it is the Turkey delegation. Hello, hello, my friend. No, no, no. This is the, it is raining. It is raining in Russia right now, my friend. Hello. Oh man, what is raining? No, it is raining Turkish tea, my friends. It is a happy day. It is a happy day, my friend. I don't like to say this openly because they all watch the stream. A great political move here will be to outplay everyone against each other. I will make deals with everyone so nobody attacks me because I think the more time goes by, the stronger I become. Sitting back and watching and preparing for whatever happens. Everybody still here? Click the f bell button, you! Click it! Yugoslavia stands strong! Well then, fuck you, Shekel. I'm clicking on Russia. What the fuck are you gonna do now, huh? What you gonna do now? Well, roleplay time, I'm fucking Russia. Oh god, I'm actually so nervous about this. Fucking Russia, man. I didn't do this in forever. Good luck, Tommy. Thank you. How does he say good luck? Like, he's already planning to attack me. I'm already feeling sus, man. Bro, I'm fucking Honduras. <laughs> good, good. I, you can't, I still can't trust you, man. Well, we have... Uh, don't we have the focus tree where I can do other stuff? Yes. I can actually go anti... Uh, how did you do that? How did you go against Stalin? Uh, and we're in a mod, guys. We're in a mod. Okay, let's have fun. Fucking hell. Construction speed. I'm playing for fun here, by the way, guys. I'm not playing to... Oh, look at my epic fucking meta. I'm so good at the game. I'm not gonna... Just gonna fucking hang out here, dude. And and what is that? Is that Lithuania? Latvia. We have a Latvia. We have a Romania. We have a Sweden. And I have to obviously fix, like, Iran, Turkey. Greece with Iraq. Comment for you. Years, there has been tensions of Pesarabia between us. If we were to send two trucks full of Pesarabian carpets and call it beats, I will finally leave this conflict behind us. Romania offers two sips from Pesarabia. I think it's a good deal, because otherwise I just end up in war anyway. I'm rushing the research slot. It's too important. I think I can still pull it off. Get research and then go anti-Stalin. The research slot is just too insane and low illiteracy. Dude, I'm getting such... Dude, that is meta as fuck. You, you need to get this focus. 20% resource speed and one resource slot. It's too important. I think it's clever to take the two sifts because otherwise I'm, I'm gonna have to fight for it, which will be bad. I think this is clever because otherwise you have to fight for it, which could lead to a massive ultra war. Okay, I'm taking him. Nikola Yezov, guys. We're going anti stadium Fuck, it's just too much fun, man. I want to be something different than anyone else. I'm not like other girls. <laughs> I'm not even a girl. I'm a pterodactyl. <laughs> Uh, Meta-wise, if you want to talk meta, it's always weak to go anti-Stalin because you really fuck up your your country a lot. Russia gets really, really weak if you don't do Stalin because for two years you're just in political turmoil while Stalin is building a huge army. This is what kills roleplay games. Just have fun. I'm not here to show how fucking epic I am. I'm still gonna try to play good, but I'm here to have fun. Latvia, we would like to strengthen relations as our people don't want to be under the Russian rule again. As first things will give us a factory. Let's actually talk. I should really roleplay with Latvia a lot. Like here, friends in Latvia. We will even decline the offer of Russian factory if your government will sign an agreement of Latvia's loyalty to Russian politics and its sphere. As long as Latvia follows Russian ideas, our hand will reach out to you. That's my offer to Latvia. As long as he stays with me, he has his former coalition to offer Stalin. There we go. This is the communist party leader of Latvia. We heard you offer and soon we will take over the country. There is in movements against the communists and Stalin going on in Russia at the moment. Democratic forces in Russia. Democratic forces in Russia are gaining, are gaining strength. We urge Latvia to not follow this. The communist path. This is just encoded, man, so nobody can read it. Japanese fabrication at our border. What the fuck? Japan? You calling in the border war? You not. You, you, you not. Motherfucker. Okay. Should put someone there. I'm not gonna put anyone there in 22 days to get that research bonus. Stalin removed from power. Epic roleplay, guys. Green Russia, man. Union of Soviet Socialist Republics under Nikolai Lezov. It's actually nice to keep a while because it gives you a PP gain bonus. Hey, Greg on Yezov. Seeing how so great future relations between our two brave nations may be a possible alliance in the future. I feel like I should become democratic first before I talk to these guys. Going, demo going democratic? I actually don't know yet, but I'm feeling democratic. Even though I don't know yet, I still have everything open. I can do Tsar, Fascist, Democracy. I just want to know what the others are doing. I always like to counter. Japan would like to support Russia financially in rebuilding the area of the battle as an act of being sorry for what happened. Free sips I demand, Japan. What do you say? It's, he's actually paying. Wow, he's actually paying. Japan is actually paying. He's paying free sips. I got free sips from Japan, dude. You died for your country, people, and I got the sips. Real life politics, man. <laughs> way too real, way too real. 
Ha, huh, actually, the allies stay democratic. Huh. The allies are staying democratic, huh? True, there's a lot of democracies, guys, actually. Yeah, actually, uh, uh, no, no democracy, no democracy. There's too many democracies. UK and USA is too much democracy. Looks like we're doing the tar, baby. Oh, man, I'm gonna be everywhere. Ah, Spanish Civil War, fuck! Spanish Civil War, Jesus! I probably, it looks like we're winning so hard in the Civil War that I shall just grind. I have to take this before anything else. Otherwise, I, I block myself out. That is... Why don't you say that? Told me, look at Rooker's culture. There's I can only take this as a communist. If I don't, I kill my whole focus tree. So, I have to stay still communist a bit. Kasha Islamic Rebellion. What? That's AI. There's a Muslim rebellion in Xinjiang. Man, modern China don't, doesn't want to hear none of that. That's for sure. It's only 45 days. I'll listen to the chat. Finish all the railways. Five-year plan, Rooker's culture. Then I can start doing stuff. Because then this focus doesn't kill me anymore. Yugoslavia, to the mother of Slavs in the Northeast. We are watching the recent events in the USSR with great concern and wish all the best to our communist brothers. But we also hope that whatever happens, Yugoslavia and Russia can cooperate and no Slavs will have so much blood. Whatever might happen in Russia, Slavs will hold us. I think that's good roleplay, right? Slavs should stay united, no matter what I become. Josef Bros. His name is Bros? Looks like some guy, some Hollywood actor. I, I don't know what I mean. <laughs> Well, what I know is that uh, partial move, baby. Very welcome. There's also a rule, though. Everybody should know that the viewers, you can't make ultra factions. It will make the game too broken. You can only make shortened factions. Like, I can't make Latvia, Sweden, Turkey. That is against the rules, which I fully agree with. Making factions too big is unfair. Uh, it's time to text uh, Sweden. Okay, little information here to Sweden. What's about to happen in Russia? I'm playing very unmeta, like a meta Germany, which is shit on me. Message from Sweden. The Swedish people have grown tired of the incompetent government and called for a single strong leader. Oh! Ah! The anarchists have risen up. I'm still communist. He's going anarchist Spain, man. That's interesting. Oh, and there's my culture. Let's fucking do this. Counter coup, baby. Now that Stalin's reign of terror has finally ended, we must recognize that replacing him with Trotsky would make our whole fight for freedom meaningless. The true cause of our suffering was not just Stalin, but socialism itself. Well, Hitler is really playing Hitler, let's be real. He's just going full Hitler, man. Germany demands to return of German territories immediately. Good will play. He's just like, give it all back, you fucks. <laughs> 999! Okay, we have a real Hitler here, boys. We have a real Hitler here. Hitler is so strong in this game. Because he doesn't have any debuffs. While I have a lot of debuffs. So we gotta fight him together, man. It's gonna be very hard. Hot fought civil war? Yeah, actually quite hard. Looks like the player is a bit overwhelmed with AI, but we're, we're really doing well for now. How to has happened. End of communism in Russia. Andrei Vlaslov. We congratulate you, Andrei Vlaslov, and coming power and taking over Congress. But as you have seen, that there are looming threats in the West, we are uniting the Baltics. Now, as our full support in the unification of the Baltics and also your government to a possible form of Eastern Defense Alliance soon. You just overthrew the communists, but you still have volunteers fighting alongside them. Well, this is a rogue division in the yeah, history books. Uh, uh, Konstantin Rokoski uh, didn't get news yet of the Great Coup. No one told him, right? And he was in the middle of nowhere. He was in the lands of Spain. Nobody saw him, and he was just—he just kept fighting. Nobody saw him. Oh. Restore the monarchy, and the Russian Empire is back. Italian Union? Jo what? The Adriatic Workers' Congress. That's interesting. Hitler is also surrounded by enemies. Hitler can't feel safe either. So, Lazarus, you're invited to London to speak about the radicals in Europe that took power in Germany and France. We're invited to London. Oh my god, Mr. Uh, uh, Mr. Blaslov. Mr. Blaslov, I want to congratulate you about uh, purging the Thank you, brother. from your country. The communist menace has been stopped, but the big problem is that many communist refugees have gone to Italy, France, and Spain. Which is why I think you invited me here today yes, to talk yes. about these issues. That's, that's, okay, guys, that's why we're here today, Mr. FDR and Mr. Blasov. Okay. First of all, I all want right. to say that Russia and its allies, which are still to remain hidden, stand against fascism in the Middle East and Europe, just like you. So we have something in common. Come, uh, bro, so fuck, no oh, man, old habits. Okay, don't worry, I'm proposing here right now an embargo on Germany. You say it was I said this we are we see as Germany the biggest threat of this this free world. I agree. Here is my offer to the Western states. Nobody from the Western states will interfere with Baltic so? and whatever is gonna happen to Norway with my great friend in Sverik. If these nations can be left alone to all my own sphere. So, okay, listen, listen, sir. Oh, oh, what, what, what? Do you think do you think I care about Eastern Europe? I only care about Western Europe, buddy. Okay. Well, so you, you, agree you can have with my you, demands, you, 
You can have the Baltics. You can have the Baltics. So mm, I agree with this. We can Western, put this aside. If the Western nation promise the no interference in Baltics and Norway, then a Russian faction actually will fight hand in hand with the Western nations against the angry man in Berlin and his little dogs. Uh, Andre, have you spoken to the Polish? The Polish people are traitors to the Slavic race. My intelligence has found out they make dealings with the fascist Adolf Hitler. There will Mark. be no talks with the Polish, only with Mark. gunfire. Let us sign this pact. I will make my signature here and here, so it shall be done. If uh, Russia is in need of trade, I shall do it with uh, United American of States. I just buy two tons of tungsten from you right now. There you go. The southern border is rising up. Oh, I need to go home. Uh, what? What? What the fuck? Oh, what the fuck? Uh, the person, the the, Texas. What? Uh, how about you go home, FDR? I need to go home. I need to get to my plane right now. Of <laughs> course, come on. Bro. Let's go. Look at them. I will return to Moscow. I see you when we no. shake hands in Berlin, brothers. I think this is very cool. The politics are great. I'm bringing back the Tsar right now. Okay, the Tsar's back. Come on, Eboshi, me, poop, beep, poop, poop. Innovation ideas, maybe? Research time? I'm doing innovations. Tsar's back. Another 150 pp right here. Sweet letter, I was chosen by God himself to lead Sweden as you were chosen in Russia. You and I are not so different, therefore I suggest a full alliance. Yes, I fully agree. I'm gonna call out the license in a sec. I'm just the Arctic Pact, maybe. I like that. Fuck it. I don't wanna think. I don't wanna waste too much time on it. I'm just calling it out. Okay, I call out the Arctic Pact, calling him, and that's my faction. I'm not allowed to invite more, which is totally fair. I think that's good. The Turkish people would like to convene a convention with your Russian delegation about the political climate in the world and our countries. Marhaban, Marhaban, Arkhamanaz, Mar Marhaban, Marhaban. Hello, my friend. Jesus fucking Christ, sir. My friend. I'm very busy these days, but just for the great nation of Turkey, I've taken time. What, uh, one, one of the most important things for Turkey is that, uh, will Russia return to the, uh, old Soviet ways of aggression against the, uh, Anatolian areas? Is that what? Is that, is that one area that, uh, okay. you will share in common with the Soviet no, government? No, no, oh. Mr. Bayar, I come here today as a friend, not as an enemy. Tsarist Empire has no quarrel with Turkey and with Iran. Here is the offer I have for Ankara. We can make yes. Ankara Petersburg Pact. A pact in which Russia is uh, guaranteeing no interference or attacks with the Turkish state, while the Turkish state has to guarantee Russia defense of its oil reserves in the Azerbaijani region. I'm being my friend, I think this sounds good. Strong and threatens the oil fields of Azerbaijan. Russia will need Turkish forces obviously supported by Russian equipment to fight the great warmonger of Geylani. My friends, this uh, this sounds good. This sounds good. Do you think uh, a more formal faction or a more uh, a more ambiguous faction is in time? Uh, Mr. Bayar, unfortunately, I'm Russian. I'm very. I never went to law school. If you could check the uh, United Nations paper, if I would still be allowed to allow a Turkish nation in the Arctic League pact. I mean, I need to. I will. I will. Yes, I will. I will count all the numbers of the thingy. I'm, I might be not allowed to. One eternity later. Okay, I just checked the uh, I checked the United Nations papers, and uh, I think I do believe uh, next year I will be able to join. Not this year, though. Once you are by law allowed to join, I will very much welcome you, brother. Okay, indeed, indeed, indeed. Several months later. Shh. Hello. Hello, it is it is it is the Turkey delegation. I'm, 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 hello, hello, my friends. No, no, no. This is the, it is raining. It is raining in Russia right now, my friend. Hello. Oh man, what is raining? Jesus. No, it is raining Turkish tea, my friends. It is a happy day. It is a happy day, my friend. I think I am able to join now. Well, 1940, yes. Oh, 19. Is it 1940? I don't I know, just, man. Wait, is it? You need to read these papers, okay? I'm busy. Oh, yeah, it is 1940. Okay, no, no, no. Never mind. Okay, I'll see. I'll yeah, see. 94. Uh, a Switzerlandian guy called TV just told me. In 1940, you are allowed to join this faction. All right. So it shall be. You have my guarantee right. to join you'll this see. faction, sir. Yes, 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 sir. Y
Austria Hungary joined Germany. That's a big faction, man. Hey, come on, you gotta be able to stop that, man. Come on, Turkey. Chat, say yes or no. Use your head emote by Putis. Shout out to him. I actually, I think that's amazing. I think that's a yes. <laughs> I'm getting greener, man. I'm actually, I'm actually reaching a point where I can create a massive fucking infantry army. And they're not 20 with their fucking 44 fully upgraded technological masterpiece. Congratulations to the Balkan. He's gonna form the Baltic Federation. There we go, we have a great friend here. Hello, 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 okay, okay. Uh, one, I can join your faction already, and two, uh, as you can see, uh, Romania has, uh, has gone. Well, there, yeah, welcome to the Arctic Pact, sir. The Thank Arctic you, and uh, we will stand together. Fuck in Romania, man. <laughs> That's what happens in roleplay games if you, it happens, no, no this to him. But if you don't do politics, he didn't have any friends, and so he was gone. I tried to make friends, man. I tried to help them, but I failed them, but the fucking... He, he wanted uh, He hated the communists. So the allies are invading Iraq, which is great for me. Once again, yes. I want to kind of be a guy that stays... Can you hear me? Hello? Yes, I can. Oh, I'm a, I don't... I'm kind of laying back a bit and let them all kill each other. Until I'm so strong that we can just shit on them. Oh, the Netherlands even joined him. Like, even... Dude, everybody has to feel like surrounded. Except the communists. The communists are safe. China and USA are allied now. Ooh, whoa, I didn't see that. Oh shit, they're killing. Oh god, this is. Why are you helping Hitler? Oh fuck, that, that means Hitler will full switch to me. Fucking idiot Purin, monkey politician, man. Obviously, he's role playing Neville. Making Hitler ultra strong so he can fully come for my ass. Oh man, this whole China thing is. Oh god. Germany is becoming an ultra superpower, just killing all the And also, the I'm pretty sure the Allies are signing a deal with the uh, Axis, I think. Let's switch. I gotta, I gotta fucking I gotta change this. <sighs> we gotta go west. I can't have to fully defend this. What it could be. Spain didn't even help his ally. Dude, they just took down France without a fight. I'm going defensive, guys. I'm going defensive. Fucking hell. UK making a deal with the devil. I mean, I'm you sold your soul, Neville. He got North Africa for this shit. He's taking down the Union of the Socialist Lowlands. And no one is helping them. Shout out to all the communists, man. The whole world is communist and they can't even help their brothers. Netherlands and France are dying alone. Hello, Habibi. My friend. What's up, man? It's uh, not looking good, I'll be honest. I believe the, uh, the, the other communists, the second Adriatic, are very demoralized by the death of Hitler. You know what I mean? They're trying to defeat de this and they're gonna try to bend the knee, I think. I, I don't know. I'm not sure the about Italian that. The Italian communists are bending knee to the fascists? I'm not sure about that one, but it looks like it. I mean, I think, uh, I think the Yugoslavians are talking the to the, uh, Germans right now. Squads. Well, let's just be, for now, defensive reactive. Whoever wants it gets it. Whoever wants it gets it. Maybe Japan doesn't have an enemy after this war. Dude, he's fighting the US fucking A-man. And I'm supporting him massively. He should have we have should have some nice points with him. All the best to Japan, man. All the best to Japan. But these Americans might be coming. But very soon I have three fucking massive tanks, dude. I have some big motherfucking tanks in the set. These tanks should be the greatest division in the world right now. Infantry is not gonna help him much. Maybe tanks. But let's be real, the moment I said thanks to Japan, someone here is gonna be like, okay, oh, mama, I gotta go for Tommy. Finland. At least Sweden had the easiest game ever. Finland just had the greatest game ever, man. That guy's just hanging out. What a great game, though. I have so much fun today. This is by far the best roleplay game in forever. It's always luck. Sometimes you're lucky, you know? This is Mr. Churchill, okay. Oh, it's Mr. I sell everything out to the Nazis. Hello, how are you doing, listen, sir? Listen, listen, I, I, I bring somewhat good news, okay? Uh-huh, I'm listening. I've had, to, I've had to make a deal. But however, if you, if, you, if, you go, if you do go to war with NATO, I will lend these you thousands of, thousands of guns, planes, and tanks. Wow, what a everything. great offer from the betrayer nation of the UK. A bunch of guns. We Russians don't need your guns. We need your men on the battlefield against the tyranny that is out of Hitler, sir. I thought you were a bulldog, but all I see is a little poodle. I'm sorry. Oh, I'm sorry. god damn, you, man. Sir. I'm sorry, sir. I'm sorry. You're gonna speak German pretty soon. Yes. If the Allies will clean the situation in the Middle East with Iraq, maybe then we could have trust again to these men. Yeah, we will. I'm, I'm about to, like, you know. I was waiting Arabia. for years for that, sir. Yes, every holy side right now. Well, everybody, I can tell you on this convention, I'm gonna go east very soon, so... Okay, well, I will go back to London. We will speak if an emergency comes. Oh, fucking Japan, man. Oh. Ay, 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 that's a fucking China. Ay, 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 ay. He's gonna never united the north. Good for him. I, I, I totally... Dude, my mates, I took so much care of them. Latvia and Sweden, I took so much care of them. They could kill the whole world. So, Romanov, we have came to the decision. We choose blood or ideology. Yugoslavia will not stand and watch as our brothers in the Arctic back will perish in flames. Right. We hope this feeling is mutual as that you and your great army will come to our aid in the case not to attach. So finally you're showing some balls, man. Finally, you came to your senses. Russia will intervene in case of war with NATO. You have our support. Maybe you can tell your American and Chinese friends to leave us alone until then. Uh, holy moly, man. I, 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 it's generally not clear who's gonna win this game. 
all the five factions look so equal. Like the fucking fifth international. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Dublin falls to German troops. Oh shit, they just took Ireland. Dude, that's what happens, Churchill. That's what happens selling out to fucking fascists, man. They're right on your fucking doorstep now. Hello, Hello. beautiful Washington. Greatest of cities. Hello. Hey, Yaksumash. Uh, my name is Barat Sagdiev. Hello, sir. Mr. Uh, this Browder. is Jeff Lau and Comrade President Browder. Oh, Mr. Hello, Lau, sir. nice to meet you. How are you doing? You're looking good, man. Sir, we're, we're doing very great. We have liberated Asia, East Asia, from the fascist occupiers in Japan. But you know, uh, China is not yet fully united. Uh, there are uh -huh, still uh -huh. some puny imperialists hiding out in the south. The Portuguese and the Winston Churchill of the United Kingdom. Yeah, fuck them, alright? And we have seen, we have seen what has been happening in Europe, and it seems that Winston Churchill has allied himself with the fascists of exactly. the Exactly, right. you have eagle eyes, just like the eagle on your flag. Which is why we, pr we propose to the Russian Empire that uh, there shall be a non-aggression pact signed between the People's Republic of China, the United States of America, and the Russian Empire. And that we together go on a crusade against the fascists and the imperialists. What? And the imperialists. Yeah, fuck them, alright? This is music to my ears, and I couldn't agree more. If we would fight each other in Asia, the Germans would just take Moscow, and they would become too strong. You are a wise man. Do you have the papers right here? Do you have the papers? I have the papers, sir. Thank you very much. I made a hidden deal. I made a deal with the Eastern Communists. What do they want? They're, they might do Tiananmen Square, but I can't do shit about that. We made a non-aggression pact full deal with China and the USA because they I realize like that the bitch boy yeah. in London and the fascists are too strong. Oh man, huh? epic politics. I told Hugo, hey Hugo, I work with you, but please give a good word to me to your fucking communist friends in China and USA. And he talked to them. The great war is coming, allies versus fascists. If I backstab the fascists, then they will die. But then people will be like, Tommy's getting too strong and they will backstab me. This will be an ultimate game of backstab. Show factions again. If you just tuned in, we have Tommy with Turkey, Baltics, and Sweden. We have NATO with <coughs> Germany. I don't know why Austria Hungary. Austria Hungary is with him. And Poland and Ireland. We have the Allies, which is kind of just UK and his allies, and a puppet France. We also have fascist Iraq with Germany. We have the Fifth International, which is ultra strong. And we have some trash over here, man. The fourth international. That is like feeling like the first part of failed roleplay that Austria gives away his home. I don't want to talk shit. It's everybody can do what they want. I don't mind. I think Austria is leaving the game and he's just letting himself eat. Even though I feel like that's a bit unfair because Austria couldn't join NATO because of the game rules and maybe now Austria is like, mm, fuck this game anyway. And now it just gives everything away. Nah, that's seems a, a bit, that's a bit that They made, what the fuck are they doing? They made a deal now? Yo, they made a deal. They made a deal. Hugo sold Ooh. us out. Hugo sold us out. He just got all from Romania. That must be a deal. Yugoslavia announced that it's very confused as Austria came here and announced leaving the game. After refusing to give us Romania, I just gave it to me. Yeah. Okay, he didn't backstab, it was just Austria being weird. That Austria player shall totally get a penalty for this. The great first Imperial Army man. Look how strong it looks. Look how proud it stands. Fully technologically upgraded infantry with ultimate fucking tanks. This army is fucking big, man. The age of tyranny must end. Russia is officially mobilizing against NATO. Okay, Poland is just very, very good infantry with rockets, and Germans are 14 force with a lot of anti-tank. That's a big fuck, they have a big army. No fear in those eyes of these brave Russian soldiers that shall give their lives together with Turkish, Swedish, and Baltic men to face the tyranny that is Hitler and his puppets. A blood day! A long day! As the sun rises! Now they can see everything, and they're what? 100% they know what's like, Just keep them busy. You need to keep them as busy as you can. Yeah, I mean, they're gonna take Spain or France, but I have all my division. Make them fucking busy. These fucking oh, constantly are doing nothing. They're not even declaring war, man. The best tactic against Tommy K is to wait for 8 p.m. <laughs> it's actually true. I feel more alone than I thought. The allies are gonna do fucking nothing. I'm very alone against this right now, but I'm, I just have to go in now. I'm really running out of time. If I die, I die. It's time to fucking play the game. We're going in. Germany needs to... I'm, I'm not gonna cheat. Germany has to join the war. I'm going into Poland for free. Germany is not the war. Germany needs to call in. Germany needs to join. I'm not gonna be a cheater here. Maybe there's a strategy. Maybe they're not... Okay, there we go. Oh, okay. There we go.
that was way, way too much to handle. I didn't see these random ass tanks coming out of nowhere. But it is what it is. Stop fucking talking. He, he's bringing all his tanks to Baka now. We either push now or never. Yeah, let's go, let's go, let's go. That is ridiculous. We've got major holes, major holes over here. Dude, he just... How can you beat my heavies, dude, with your mediums? Like, what was that then, Aloyde? Lovely how my tanks can't kill infantry, man. Aloyde, at some point, man... At some point, you gotta fucking tell me what the problem here is. This is three heavies attacking this shit. Oh, wow. Hugo Slavia is dying. Hugo dying is pretty fucking good. There we got our first tanks. Good shit. Nice three tanks. There we go. Go ahead and circumvent on the fucking infantry, guys. Very good. That should be literally a bleeding infantry line there. They barely have enough of them in the front line. They're all two whips. There's two units on each pile right now. Today is Holy fucking shit, guys. Really good job. Front line management. This is the worst front Hey, this is the big one, though. This is the big one. Nine. This is so hard to watch, man. Apparently, Hugo's oh, gonna oh, capture. Oh, oh. We actually killed tanks here? Uh, no, we oh, didn't. God, yeah, they don't over, even die. <laughs> We're really fucked. We have two tanks. Just here, too many tanks, dude, man. Just too many tanks, man. Place fucking basic Germany roleplay game gets 5 million tanks, man. I can't even fucking afford three good tanks. Because I choose to be a motherfucking Tsarist Russia. Oh, Istanbul? What? The, how are they in a, Oh, they. Oh, wait. Oh. Fuck, they lost. Oh, God. Oh, yeah. Oh, God. Slavia. I completely forgot. Uh, well done, my German. I'm obviously a little bit mad. I'm a little bit mad. Because it is. Come on, man. Let's dude. Trash as basic bitch build, man. With five million tanks. But every little bitch can play with a basic Germany game. Germany build in a fucking roleplay game. My fucking grandma can do that shit. Germany, by the way, the only nation in the entire roleplay game that played his basic build who didn't change his ideology. I'm speaking out of madness. Yes, I'm mad. Once in a while, a human can be mad. Yeah, we're all gonna die anyway if you like go back to the river. Go back to the front line. Yes, okay, the Shut the fuck up, man! What are you talking about? Mr. Churchill, the whole game you're appeasing with the Nazis. Throwing away France, Ireland, Spain, and now you wanna talk shit about us? Fighting like men here, not appeasing anything? Ridiculous. Yeah, Germany's just... His tanks are going now west and he just kills that. It's just tank micro. People always... You know what? I'm gonna tell the truth. You can call me mad or pussy, whatever. But the truth of lifeless. The only way you... Ha the only thing you have to do to be good at Hoi 4 is micro 10 tanks. That's all Hoi 4 is about. For all these years of micro, esports, meta, meta. In the end, all you do is you take 10 tanks and fucking micro them well. And you are gonna shit on people in Hoi 4. I could just play Stalin here and have the same fucking tanks, dude. But I'm here for fun. It's okay, though. It's all good. It's all good. I gotta recall it here. I'm totally... Lisa must be super mad. GG, man. He played well. I can't talk shit. I just call him out for not having balls. For playing basic bitch bullshit, man. Uh, I would love to play that. That was big fun. That was the most fun game I had in a long, long time. I really enjoyed that, man. Uh, next time, I'm gonna pay attention to playing better and playing a bit more met metaistic, which you have to do, otherwise p players just shit on you. Uh, nobody deserves my shit talking here. Everybody did great, man. Let's not be mad and just realize how fun this was, man. That was really, really fun. Shout out to everyone who played well. All the best, guys. Bye-bye!